Hi everybody, this is Dennis from the Dennis and Andy Show. I'm going to be doing a full review of Marjorie Finnegan, Temporal Criminal. Um, this is from AWA. It's an upshot comic. Um, this is issues one and two, um, put out by Garth Ennis, Gordon uh, Saduka, and um, Miroslav Merva. Um, this one kind of piqued my interest, and uh, um, let's just kind of, you know, open it up. So we see this is the great uh, Ramses. So we're we're dealing back in the time of Egypt, of Egypt. Um, that's where the setting takes place, and you see that the, uh, you know, they're saying that he's going to be, you know, he's dying. He's going to be taking his treasures with him. The holy, um, you know, the mighty Osiris, the Lord of Heaven itself. You know, so take you as his mortal kin, all of your riches, all of your gold and silver. Your rubies, your sapphires, emeralds, and your cunningly uh, wrought torques and necklaces beset with gems. Your hoard of diamonds um, will all go with you to the Netherlands. And so too will your royal highness slaves. Uh, people say to me, Marge, your sense of humor is just kind of weird. Uh, so those who had served you on earth remain at your side. Their spirits will be bound to you. Um... He goes, you know, basically, we're going to put everything in the tombs with you when we seal them. And uh, he's like the mightiest warriors, your armies, the most desirable, your trinkets. You know, um, he goes, there is your mortified remains are mummified according to our ancient rites. The throats of the rabble uh, shall be slit from ear to ear. Uh, their inner lifeblood drained away. Their souls shall join with yours in eternal obedience. Um, hey, sorry, what? As their bonds lie scattered about the sarcophagus that holds you, your earthly form, so shall their spirits. Uh, yeah, go back a second. Um, you dare slave slut of the em <coughs> emperor? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, this ear-to-ear -ear thing. Uh, yeah, that wasn't in the plans. Mm. Blasphemy. You, you well... You do not talk when the king has spoken. And, she, and he goes to take a swipe at her. And the uh, the sickle basically grabs the wig. And they're like, whoops. Oh, what? What's going on? She pulls out a shotgun. Boom. Well, say hi to Dr. Twelve. So let all the children boogie. So it's kind of funny. So she was there, obviously, to steal. She was going to be entombed. And things go badly. Here we see Vikings. Um, so this is a, kind of a, a cut scene. Um, it's them. It's the Vikings. We're doomed. Oh, no. We're all screwed. Run for your lives. Well, for starters, yeah, that's them all right. All right. Let's do it like I showed them. Take aim and boom. Blew them up. Problem solved. As you advertised. Glad you hired me. Oh, you don't. No, 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 that's not necessary. And they're all cheering and stuff. Boom! They fire again, blow up the ship. Just remember, there's more of them, buggers, so keep your blondes and the silver coming, and I'll make sure. Oh, Odin. One of them comes up, the Vikings, his leg's missing. <laughs> One of the guys opens up, fires, basically blows his entire center away. Oh, wow, that's just overkill. Um, well, it certainly is. It's one of the series of Code Crimson violations. Under the 9th, 13th, and 108th Amendments, Temporal sta uh, Statute, Big Blue One. Anything to say for yourself? Oh, balls. It's hairy. Balls indeed, my little criminal kraut, uh, because you are temp temporarily nicked. So, we do have a cutback, so obviously she's a temporal agent of some sort. And we actually see, we get back, and uh, Marjorie's put an end to her. This is blasphemy. So they have this big fight scene. She gets knocked into a treasure hoard, and she sits up. She goes, ooh, come to mama. Now's your chance, you fools. Finish the sorcerer she-demon. Ah, finish my ass. She blows him away. She's like, ah, oh, she keeps firing. This is, the scenes are pretty cool. It says, no wonder, uh, uh, wonder no longer, pal. 
because the K2001 realigner meets all your temporal needs. So she's got Strat there. It's obviously a time traveling device. Some people call it the Rapture Ray, others the, the Deuce Exer. I'm quite partial to just plain <laughs> on fucker. If that's not too crude, Grandma dear, um, it does what it does. It fixes times. So you can see subject, they pull out the lazy. Um, so she goes through and it's going uh, subject, um, big Joser, alternate run over by the chariot. So, you know, she's changing history. She's changing time. No anomalies, no time warps, no shit. We've evolved into whales. Why am I talking to myself here? Uh, enough of this. This is sacrilege. She goes, oh, I'm outnumbered. It's time to jump. Big flash. They are about to skewer her, and she disappears in a nick of time. Flash forward to the other one. There's the, the crowd. Oh, come on, Harry. I've got a good thing going here. Look the other way. I'll be more than happy to cut you in. Uh, attempted bribery of a temporal police department deputy marshal. Look, when you consider what I used to do for a living, this is practically a formed uh, character. Um, attempted uh, bullshitter of the same officer. You should have stayed and taken your chances at Stalingrad, Otto. You should have left the glowing green floating thing alone. So, needless to say, oh, sky god of wonder weapons, stay one-eyed prostitute now. Learn the price of your interference. Sky god? Yeah, sky god. Ha, 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 ha. She just opens up. Oh, you like wonder weapons, Baldy. Give this one a try. She fires. Look at that. It just pelts them. You can see right through them. That's, that is just pretty funny. Okay, Otto. Otto, uh... You toss her. Now she's got to go get him. She puts on a glove and she basically magnetically almost brings him in. Oh, God. How we doing? I don't know about we. I just got 10,000 volts up the urethra. <laughs> oh, this is kind of funny. Uh, you like to come back in and meet us. He'd blow our minds. Um, there's a star. So she's dancing around. Marjorie's back in what looks like her apartment. There's... I don't know, we'll, we'll call it a max headroom sitting there. Um, let all the children, hey, boogie, it's time. So the head is trying to talk to her, and um, uh, they're, they're going through. He's like, hey, basically, you promised me if I help you, you're going to get me a body back. And she's been kind of stringing him along um, about getting this body you can't expect me to keep this plate hidden without a major upgrade. I mean, you do know how dangerous it is to begin with anchoring a physical loca location in the basically the time stream itself. Is there anything better than cold pizza? Marge, the stabilizers will wear out and we will be TF'd. Sorry, what did you say? You can see birds walking around, I mean flying around, I don't know, with it looks like a boxing glove head. It's just weird stuff. Forget it. One more slice. Don't be a silly, Billy. Um, she goes, where would we, Where would it go? I don't know. So she's still dancing. They're having an argument. Whatever. Look at But somebody's viewing her. And it says, um, whatever. Christ, look at her go. You know, these are guys from uh, the 18th Reich trying to carry themselves to sleep over that. They're, they're crying themselves to sleep. Oh, wait a minute. And she were, that's right. She's nothing to write home about, believe me. Bollocks. What? Seriously, trying to tell me that she's crap in bed? She's frigid? So she's dancing. You can see her towels coming off. And she's like, oops. I mean, or put the other one. It's got bells on. Wait a minute. Did we just miss something? Oh, it's your fault with that bloody rithering on. Oh, Jesus, you can't take your eyes off the ball when you're playing. It's just the big leads, not even for an instant. So anyway, they're having this conversation, trying to figure out what she's doing. They're talking about a code among temporal, um, you know, maybe the temporal thieves. No, just watch and learn. Breach, breach, we've been breached. The hell? Shit, someone's in. I don't know. She goes and grabs her gun. She grabs uh, him by the, by the wires. Oh, you're damn right we are. Anyone anyone with enough wallop to get this close is not to be messed with. 
Get out, take stock, we've got a plan. Come back here, you know who we're dealing with. Oh, hi sis. So, that would explain why there's a similarity in looks, because the time cop, obviously, is the sister of the temporal criminal, which is kind of fun. This ought to be kind of a, a fun dynamic. We start with episode, uh, issue two. Hey, little sister, what have you done? Um, and we can see, ah, hey, guys, bullshit. This dude, there's just some du dude up here. He's nobody, of course. It's Jesus Christ. Come on, that was just for fun. It was just the tip of the iceberg. Take a chill pill. And, you know, you can see, uh, don't sis me. You can see she's going back in time and changing really bad things. <laughs> so this is definitely not a kid's comic book. There's the uh, assassination of JFK, and you see her driving away in the car and the Secret Service uh, agents in there. And, of course, they have to throw their politics in. Um, another thing, you know, there's Trump. Sad, crap on his head. Oh, I didn't shit on the Donald. That wasn't me. That's just gross. Well, then who did? Come on, Harry. Who wouldn't have? I mean, round up the usual suspects. You know what I mean. It's a likely story. Oh, Jesus Christ. It wasn't me. With everything else I've copped, why would I bother to lie? Marge, I've completely unhooked here. Get away from my gear. I'm going to need a few minutes to calculate the jump. Well, how'd you find me all the way out here anyway? I ah, don't try and change the subject. Marjorie Finnegan for a total of 17,182,000 violations. Code, uh, so she's obviously been violating the code. A lot. <clears throat> you are uh, temporarily uh, screwing around here. She goes, this is all about your balls, your dedicated co-workers fixing the flux. That's what they get paid. I'm the bad girl. You're the good girl. You're supposed to stop me. She goes, done. So obviously the one girl just goes around time, the bad sister and the other sister goes around and fixes it. Well, now we see who's been viewing on him. There's a guy who looks like the devil and another guy who's drinking beer. Huh, I wonder if they might be holding off for a second just so that they can watch the two hot blondes kick the shit out of each other. Listen, my people are professionals. Oh, is that why the camera angle hasn't changed in the last couple of minutes? Um, and actually you can see... Uh, something invisible is going down in there well you want the two of them locked in combat don't you you want them struggling wrestling utterly engrossed with each other so that they don't notice my guys breaking into what are you doing oh i uh ah jesus web you know these are two actual sisters no don't don't answer that <clears throat> so anyway you can see they do a cute little history she goes you know it's just the real reason you're you're after me. You know, why don't you say the real reason? She goes, enlighten me. <laughs> we see Marjorie. It wasn't me. She's literally hiding the crossbow behind her back. There's a crossbow in the sister's eye. Obviously, she's the one who shot her, her sister's eye. Take careful note that you are now on thin ice, Marge. Oh, well, yikes. Well, don't you worry, Harry. I'll keep an eye out for trouble. Oh, damn. They must be sisters. She, like, she takes her gun, shocks it away, gets it away. Reboot, reboot. Of course, it stunned, uh, you know, the head, who's trying to recalculate the hyper jump. Um, he's like, no, no, no. Get in there. Look for what I told you to. No, don't worry about the other stuff, you know. Ah, you don't have time to upload it to Pornhub. Just get on with the job. I thought you said those guys were quaking in terror at everyone. Why? Well, what do you think they're doing? Who? The devil? Why would they think that? Because. Oh, you mean my name. This is cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to get that at school, you know, because I'm called Stan. Most people thought I was just missing an A. Satan. Satan. Ah, get it? Haven't heard that in ages. Anyway, they're in. So, Stan, <laughs> the devil, uh, this is this is just kind of some weird stuff. You were right. Um, breaching without a perimeter, warning off, panicking or pissing off without setting off the clock locks. Still feel a bit, about, uh, a bit odd about uh, snitching out all the pigs, though. 
So anyway, you can see the guys are in there. Oh, oh, they, they find some of her underwear and that's what they're kind of hunting for. These guys are just pervs. You know, you guys uh, give a good sniff. I didn't need to see that up close. Anyway, they're still looking through. Ah, just find it already. And he goes, look, don't make me regret this little team up, Stan. I'm the Lord of evil, not the Lord of patience and gentle understanding <clears throat> on it. So we're getting at least an idea now who they are. You would think he's the devil, but you know, Stan's actually his name. That actually is the, uh, the Lord of evil. So yeah, interesting twist. Back to the girls. This is a big day at last. Where we're finally going to hand me my ass for all the shit I put you through. Oh, you have no idea. Marge, I'm back up. I'm loaded. I'm ready to go. Oh, just give me a second. This is just too good to miss. My thoughts exactly. Bring it on. Marge goes in and instead of punching her, she honks her nose. And then starts giving her a noogie. What? Sister, like... Beats the hell out of her, and she goes, whoa, whoa, reboot, reboot, please re-enter coordinates, orangutan. Jesus, you're taking this a bit seriously, aren't you? Taking it what? You really don't get it, do you? Huh? So Marjorie's like this clueless girl, apparently. You don't, you, you don't, do you? All those trips skipping merrily down the time lanes, you don't have a fucking clue. Multiple counts of grand larceny, millions, probably billions in stolen precious metals and currency. Eh, it was just a couple of shiny gleamies. It wasn't a couple of shiny gleamies. You had your fun, Marge, but only in the breaks between the business. And you have been doing the business, haven't you? Oh, well, we're getting used to it because that's the shit that really counts. It's what costs people. You take away rights rightfully theirs. So the head's working at it again. What? Kings and princesses and the great good. Oh, these were all dickheads. They don't need the money. Do you remember Diana the 12th? Well, vaguely. She was purpley, <clears throat> perfectly happy being the empress of Jupiter. And that was before you dropped by. Now she gives hand jobs uh, in teleport booths just to support her hyper crank. So they're still looking through her, her place and she, she's got the statue of David. Anyway, you can see she's got money hidden in everything. She goes, what about Pope John Paul? What about the Vatican? You convinced him to give all the Vatican's gold away, you know, into Amway. Come again? You've been looking for it. So they're really going. Marjorie goes through time and just screws up everything and steals stuff. She goes, I am, you're the temporal criminal. I am the temporal cop. I'm supposed to stop you. That's what I've been rehearsing. Oh, shit. You wish to flip the wibble? It's not as if there's any method in her madness. She's not even an idiot savant. The whole thing was just a damn accident. All she does is race up and down wherever she is, grabbing anything she likes, the look of. And this time, she happened to grab what I need. You can see the Mona Lisa, a bunch of the jewels. You can see historical figures, you know, chasing her. How do you know it was her anyway? Oh, they still haven't found it. Yeah, you're professionals. So he's basically like, yeah, I asked around, found out why people couldn't just be helpful. Why can't humans just be helpful and help me out? So you can see some type of lightsaber type swords. And, you know, he basically wiped them all out. Oh, right. Yeah. What was it called again? The Oprochrophobia? No, it's the Hyprocrypha, like the Acrocrypha, but true. Oh, wait, look, they found it. And of course, you see sapphic astronauts. You know, this is this is just some funny stuff. Now I can fix it. I can finally fix it. Right. Job done. Don't bother to clean up. Just get out of there. Uh, fix what exactly? Why, absolutely everything, of course. Haven't you been paying attention? So the sisters are still going at it. Tim, my little sister is officially kicking my ass. What the hell are we doing about this? Uh, I'm glitching. Because <laughs> he's been shocked. Just put on the handcuffs. We can see that the uh, the uh, minions have, have escaped. Uh, I'm going to warn you, not 100%. I can't guarantee you that this is going to be a smooth ride. Um, anyway, jump. We don't care. We need to get out of here. She's serious. She's taking me in. 
And he did warn her this was going to be a, a jump. So she is somewhere right now plummeting down. It looks like on top of Earth. And I don't see her holding anybody. So anyway, there's the first two issues that are out of Marjorie uh, Finnegan, Temporal Criminal. This is just a fun book. This is just a plain fun book. It's it's enjoyable. Um, you know, Garth, you know, I like his like uh, war books and stuff like that. But I mean, this is just a whole bunch of fun. Um, I'm going to give this one a CGC rating of, of a 9.0. This is just purely fun. The art is solid. It's enjoyable. Um, you know, as long as you can keep the, the politics out of the rest of this. This is just, again, an interesting, fun little book. I skipped over a lot of the, the quips and the jokes and stuff. There is a lot of humor in this book. So if, you, if you're looking for something that's a bit different from your standard superhero stuff, I would definitely give this a try. This is fun. It's going to be an eight-issue mini-series. Um, so anyway, um, hit the like and subscribe button so you can keep up with the reviews. And we will chat with you all later. Enjoy uh, reading your comments below.